Hi, and welcome to episode seven of Mountaintop Musings with me, your host, Luna Love. I'm so, so blessed and honored to be here with you today. And today we're going to be talking about tough love. Well, we're really going to be talking about how tough love is not loving and it's not love. And we're going to do that because everyone at some point has kind of received that push in their life. And if you remember as a little kid, maybe the theme was, I'm doing this because I love you. And it didn't feel like they loved you at all, whether that was a partner or a parent or a boss or a teacher at some point, whether the dialogue was slightly different or not, that kind of theme of like, I'm doing this because I love you. And what comes forward is it didn't feel loving, right? At least I have instances of remembering a time when it didn't feel that way. So what, for me, what tough love was that I felt I grew up with, and I'm so grateful for all of this because it's allowed me to learn so much, but for me it was like this idea that you had to toughen up, that life was hard and people weren't always going to be nice, and that the world wasn't always the most con congenial place and you can't be so sensitive you have to toughen up and so it was kind of like poking fun jabbing a lot of sarcasm and it was all about toughening up and it didn't feel loving and I get that now and as a child I didn't necessarily know how to express that but it was so valuable for me and so we all have our own form of that whatever that might be that form of tough love and so what I've seen in myself and in clients is then what happens is we relate to ourselves in that way we're like oh well I've grown from this experience and this push this this um you should do this you should do that that energy can push someone towards the direction of wanting to so badly move past that that they that they do it that it does toughen them up to just get past it and while that can be really great and while that can pro provide per professional personal and spiritual growth and development I am of the belief that there are much easier and graceful and more loving ways to do it that would be much more in service to the the overall development of one person and so this is really about how we relate to ourselves so have you in any way adopted that quality of self-love in relationship to yourself have you taken on the voice inside your set inside your head that says you know you should really do better at this or you really shouldn't do that and you're doing it anyway or whatever that voice is that says you should be different than you are and if you want to achieve your goals you need that voice to push you i'm here to push you towards your goals that voice is in service to you and it feels like this loving gesture of if i don't push myself how will i grow and and I so understand that intention and that sentiment. And we grow by trusting. We grow through empowerment. We grow through upliftment and support from our community and our family and our friends, but really from ourselves. If we relate to ourselves with the energy of, you can do it. I trust in you to make the best decisions in life. I trust in your ability to move forward in whatever direction you so choose with capability, with action, with movement, with success. When you come forward and relate to yourself with the energy of trust, you come from the place of upliftment. When there's the sense of doubt or mistrust, it comes from the energy of you need to do better than you're doing now. And that's a voice and a dialogue that we can really, that would really serve all of us to shift. And if you don't have that voice, awesome. Come talk to me. I want to know your secret. And it's not necessarily always on or always prevalent but it might come up and how can we then lovingly respond because I've seen so often we learn this idea oh I, I should be more loving to myself and then that becomes the should and then we might judge the voice that is judging we're judging the judger and the option is to just love everything about yourself love everything that comes up if it's coming up for a reason if it's coming up, it's coming up for a reason. It's coming up because you're ready to look at it, because you're ready to heal the issue, because it's ready to be let go of. And it's 
the way to do that is to love yourself compassionately through it. And so if you can think of yourself as that little kid who might have received that tough love and think about how that felt and then whatever the quality of growth might have been is irrelevant, but think about how it felt and see if you are relating to yourself in any way like that, that there is an opportunity for you to create more ease and more grace in your life by moving forward with more loving energy because tough love is not love. I have another ebook that is available, the Ease and Grace Playbook. Uh, I think it would be a great supportive supplemental tool to what we talked about today. You can sign up on the link below to get that. I would love for you to review that. It's an awesome self-discovery exercise booklet that really allows you to dive deeper into yourself and create more ease and more grace in your life, which everyone deserves more of. I say yes to more ease and more grace. And I just really enjoyed being here with you today. I'm looking forward to our last week of Mountaintop Musings next week and coming to you and sharing some more insight and musings. So thanks so much for being here. If you liked this, subscribe. If you like it, share it. Check out my website, lunalovewellness.com. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now, and may you always walk in beauty. Blessings on your path, dear friends.